Hello everyone, here from this beautiful place, I will talk about the warrior philosophy. One philosophy which is forgotten nowadays and when someone knows the profoundness of this philosophy, he can change really immediately his life. So the warrior philosophy, what is meaning? So in the ancient times, for example in the samurai times, when a samurai went out from home, he never knew if he come back or not because you was always you had to deal with death every day sometimes you were you was always involved in some war in the war times always you never know if you come back if you see your wife again if you see your children again if you come back home or not so every day was like it could be my last day nowadays even in a peaceful time we don't have this philosophy but even nowadays it can happen so many things that you never know if you come back home or not. So many accidents here and there, many things happen. And most of the times when you are not expecting it. So with the warrior philosophy, the, this wisdom quotes erase a lot. For example, eat your rice as it is your last. So with full intention, with full gratitude and Drink your tea as it is your last tea. So what is meaning? So every moment in the life is unique. No moment ever comes twice. It's like a river. You can never touch the same water twice. It passes and that's it. And the life is made of time. Our physical life for sure is made of time. And we have a limited time. And one thing we have to know nobody ever in this world has survived physically nobody everyone you and me and we all will live this one time this life and if you knew this if you if you if you know this you can really change your mind and live differently because like i said every moment is unique and no moment comes ever again so you know that this moment will never come back and you can try and then after when you practice it you can really live in that moment 100% with all your five senses with all your with all your energy with all your feelings so like you eat your last rice and you live your last day or you drink your last tea so you give gratefulness you you give energy to this moment, you give value, you give value to every moment and this is the Zen philosophy and this is the philosophy of many spiritual places in the world and it comes from the warrior philosophy and even all the ancient scriptures, even the Bible and the Quran and everything, all these sacred scriptures was created always in war times because in war times you have to deal what will happen when I leave my when I live my life, what will happen when I die tomorrow or when I die today? Why I'm here? All these questions arise because you ask yourself what I'm doing here, where I came from, where I will go. So these questions we forgot so many times in the business life, in the life where we have competitions, I will be better than him and all the things. We have so many things we are dealing with but it's not really the life. It's always in the mind and so fear you create fear in the mind, it's never in the reality, always here in your thoughts, then you create always competition, so he, he had that, I will be better, he have this car, I will have a better car, or he's successful, he earned this and I will earn more. So many things arise because you, you let your energy flow and getting from the mass, from the people's uh, conscious mind, how you say, it's the mass consciousness and so you adapt to it and you letting you catch from this strange energy I will say because the life it's so different from that what we think and but when you wake up and when you are grateful when you do your morning workout when you have gratitude and you know this day never comes back so you will change your life and this is the warrior philosophy the warrior philosophy even it's always one time I have to leave and if you know it, and if you don't forget it, you will be always different. You think different, you don't create 
It's like um, jealousy, you don't create hatred, you don't create these negative things because you take it as a unique possibility. And the life is not a problem to solve. Many spiritual masters said that, said that, and the life is a unique chance to make the best of it. So when you wake up, you can be grateful. You can, you know, this this life here, it's made of times and moments. In this moment, I get like a present. I am be grateful. I have gratitude, and I know. Every day can happen that I can go, some near friends or family can go, so you will be differently. And even then, you will accept that because that is not a opposite from life. Because you're born, you will die. So the death, when we really understand it, you don't fear it anymore, you accept it. When you come to one point, when you accept it, you can live better. And we say, if you live good, you can die good. If you have so much fear from that, you you have so much fear, fearful thoughts in your life also, because it's like the mirror of life. So in this warrior philosophy, in the Saramari times, for example, they the first thing what you learn is accepting the debt. What is what is meaning? Where I came from? Where I will go? Why I'm here? And what is meaning day by day? So the warrior philosophy can give you so much power, energy, courage. And it's a very important philosophy because even if we are not in the war, we are living the same, the same way of life. Because it's everything, like I said, is unique and the moments are unique. And one time it comes and we will go. Like I said, no one ever has survived. We will go, everyone will go. So my friends, cancel your emotion, negative emotions. Eliminate your hatreds, eliminate your negative emotions of that and that's a very important thing to live better and I wish you all the best, courage, energy, health, power and be a peaceful warrior in your life. All the best, the warrior philosophy.